Which one should you buy? Grail TK1 or Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon? Let's start comparing from the top. Both printers have removable tops. K1 has transparent plastic top and K1 has glass top cover. Both printers have glass doors which are hole closed with magnets. K1 door opens just as much as Bamboo Lab X1C door. X1 has two magnets on the printer and two metal pieces on the door. K1 has three magnets on the printer and three pieces of metal on the door. Upper metal piece has come off the door, can be fixed with the glue. Door handles are designed differently. X1 handle is too close to frame and it makes it harder to grab it. K1 handle is more convenient to use. X1 is completely closed printer, but K1 has some open places. One is on the back side of the lid and the other is back of the screen. Bamboo Lab has two buttons on the printer, one for screen on off and second one stop button. K1 don't have this button. Filament holders are both on the back of the printers. Different design, but they have work the same way. Both printers have similar power sockets with on off switch and fuse. If you look under the printers, we can use see that X1C has open belt system and K1 has covered it with the blade. X1 and K1 have similar rubber feet, but K1 also comes with bigger feet which you can add to installed feet. K1 left and right side are transparent acrylic panels. Bamboo Lab X1C has no transparent side panels. X1 has 5 inch screen with 1280 by 720 resolution. K1 has smaller 4.3 inches screen and it should be also with HD quality. Under the bamboo lab hotend seems to be knobs which can be used to adjust the bed. K1 hotbed is fixed in place. No adjustments available. Both printers have three axis lead screws. Stepper motors and belt systems are similar on both machines. K1 has steel rods for axis, but K1C has carbon rods on X axis. Both have similar side cooling fans. K1 has it on the right side, and X1C has it on the left side. If you don't have 3D printer, but you need something to 3D print, just type in pcbway.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials, PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling series, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. Both printers have fast printing speed. K1 is a little bit faster with 600mm per second and K1C 500mm per second. I printed pre-sliced 3D benchy from the printer's memories. X1C took 24 minutes and K1 18 minutes to print it. Acceleration is same on both printers. Max hot end temperatures are 300 degrees on both printers. Max hot bay temperature is on Grail TK1 100 degrees, which is smaller than X1C 110 degrees at 120 volts and 120 degrees at 110 volts. These printers both use most common diameter filaments, which is 1.75 mm. K1 power supply is 350 watts and Bamboo Lab 1000 watts at 220 volts and 350 watts at 100 110 volt. I measured how much energy it took to print 3D Benji. I started measuring from switch on to print to finish. Both it before calibration and leveling. X1C build plate is bigger, 36 mm bigger on X and Y axis, but C length is only 6 mm higher. Both printers have flexible steel build plates. Bamboo Lab has double sided build sheet. Nozzle wiping spot. Build platform has stoppers at the back and it helps to line the blade. K1 build plate has nice corners to hold the blade. This plate is one sided and similar smooth texture as X1C PLL side. It's recommended to use glue on both build plates.
build plate has two cutouts which align with bolts on the back of the build platform. Hot end max flow is also the same on row printers. Overall dimensions are a little bit smaller on K1, but K1 is taller. If you compare the weight, the bigger printer is also heavier. Both printers can be connected with your PC, tablet or smartphone through Wi-Fi. K1 also have USB connection option. X on C has micro SD card slot on the right side of the screen. Processor both, both are 1.2 GHz but K1 is dual core and X1C is quad core. Both have their own slicers available, but you can use also others like Cura or Prusa. Bumble Lab has Bamboo Studio and Cruelty has Cruelty Print Slicer. Both printers have LED light. X1C light is a little bit better and it is placed in the better position in relation to the camera. Both printers have many supported filaments and they can handle carbon fiber filaments. K1 don't have camera, but it's available as add-on. K1 has a HD quality camera. Bumble Lab X1C comes with a camera, which has full HD quality. Both printers have filament detection and resound printing option when filament run out or power failure happens. Both printers can be monitored and controlled from the distance. X1C has carbon filter, inside air will be sucked out through the filter by the fan which is behind the printer. K1 has also enclosure fan but no filter. Both printers have option to make timeless videos. Boot times are very similar between 30 to 40 seconds. K1 is much cheaper than X1C, but there are also differences between these 3D printers. Noise layers are also similar, K1 is a little bit louder. Bamboo Lab X1C has more things like micro lidar, which inspects print quality. You can connect the EMS to X1C and print multicolor. Both printers also have AI detection and they can detect spaghetti. Bamboo Lab has more detection options. If you compare print quality for those benches, they look almost the same. Bamboo Lab X1C quality is a little bit better. Both printers what I have had problems out of the box. K1 I needed to change extruder and hot end to fix the problems. And I need to change X1C tool head parts. There are more things which you can compare on these 3D printers what I didn't mention. But all info is available on online. There are a lot of info, but what 3D printer to buy? The next things I will say are my opinion, so you may not agree with me. If you have money to spend, want some more features, and you want to print multi also, I will buy Bamboo Lab X1C. X1C costs much more than K1, but you will also get more included camera, AI detection, full HD time lapse, micro lidar, better build quality. If you don't want to spend much money, I will buy Cruelty K1. You got some less features and build quality is not good as X1C, but you will still get good fast 3D printer, which can print same filaments as X1C. K1 don't have camera included, but you can easily add it, and AI detection, monitoring, and time-lapse options will be available also.